guys. All right. How's it going? Whoop. She lost her wardrobe. I tried to keep it on. Ugh. All right. For those of you that just listen and don't watch, it was just a dress form. Shirley lost her top. That's all that happened. <laughs> How are you guys? Great to see you again. It's Wednesday. Welcome to Behind the Scenes Live. I'm Angela Wolf, and thank you guys for joining me. This is always our fun day. Now, today I'm all by my lonesome. Last week we had the whole brother crew here, which was awesome. We had some technical issues, so I got off of the beta version, so hopefully the software works good today. Works whatever. Works good, works better, works whatever your proper English is for the day. That's what we're hoping. So give me, let me know you can hear me. I see Crystal, Janet. I see you all rolling in, which is awesome. Yay, and I can even see your faces today. Karina, great to see you. So uh, in case you didn't know, many of you already know where everybody lives, but uh, just FYI, mention where you're from because your neighbor might be sewing next to you or fishing. To all my fishing friends that log in, hello. I know you never say hi, but hope you're catching fish and hopefully that uh, the show will be lucky for you, at least until you log out, right? <laughs> One of these days we'll have to do a fishing show. That's coming up in July when we always go to Ludington. So, so uh, Janet, my shirt, thank you. I pulled this one out of the stash. It's finally over 60 degrees. So this is my Delilah top. And I kind of mixed up today's show because I got a couple fun things for you. I actually found some fabric. I went to make a tank top out of this and I have way more than I'm going to need. So I've already posted all of it online. I'm giving this fabric away. I'll let you know at the end. I've got a ton of things to show you guys for, my goodness, you have taken that Linda tunic. It hardly went out in the mail and the show and tell today is going to be awesome. So uh, I see a couple of newbies too in here. Toronto, we've got Oregon, Minnesota, England. Hi, Maureen. <laughs> Ed Tracy from the Twin Cities. So I got somebody's package back today. What? How do you not know what your address is? I'm not going to embarrass the person, but somebody's package came back and it says, return to center, sender, no such number. So somebody gave me their incorrect address. So I have to go figure who that is. So far, out of hundreds and hundreds, this is the first one back. So that's not too bad, right? <laughs> I know. Hey, uh, Arnell, beautiful fabric. Looks like maybe purple in one. So this top that I'm wearing, see all this fabric right here? Can you guys see all of that stash right behind my mic here? Let's see if I can move my mic. Is that better? Right there? That's all the fabric I found. And I'm going to go through and show you guys this. But this one was so exciting. I found, I don't want to trip over my cords. Check it out. I can make a lot of tops with this. So this fabric I purchased last year and I loved it. And I actually took it off of the website because I, it's so soft. I wanted to make a whole bunch of more. Oh boy, my English is good today. I wanted to make a ton more tops and it's super stretchy, soft. It's a rayon knit. I've worn this top probably, I don't know, a hundred times, <laughs> literally. In fact, I've worn it so many times that uh, this is the one that I still need to press up the hem and run it to the cover stitch machine. Isn't that terrible? But I still wear it because I put it on and then I'm like, oh, I'll hem it later. So this is one of those I have to video because you guys wanted to see how to do the cover stitch in the round. So here's the fabric. It's kind of, it has some blues. Well, not really blues, lavender, black, white. So now I wear this under a sweater a lot and I don't want the bulk of my Delilah top. So now I'm making a tank top, Bruce T tank top, a little bit longer. Cause look at, I love this with black jeans when I wear my black jeans, super fun. So I think I put like, uh, I don't know, six yards or so on the website. So if you go on the website and you go under fabric, you'll see all the pieces that I'm showing you today. And everyone in the fashion sewing club got a little preview of another piece that I'm making my new Linda out of, which is this one here. Uh, 
I have to wash mine first. Whoops. Making sure. Hold on one sec. There you go. Just making sure that I am on here correctly before I get going on this. <laughs> Hi, Lynn. Hey, Melody says it's sunny in Florida. Again, yesterday you said it was rainy. All right, you guys can hear me. We're good. I'm going to keep rolling. I just want to take a quick check in, quick second to check. Hi, Glenda. Sorry you got to go, but you can always watch the rerun. All right. Yep, I don't see anybody saying you can't hear me. <laughs> Esther from the Netherlands, great to see you. So, uh, by the way, I love it when I can see your faces. In the last two weeks, I couldn't see anybody's face when I brought this up, and it drove me crazy. So, that's why I had to go back to the original software until they get the kinks out because that's the best part. Joyce finally made it. Man, you guys are all rolling in. So let's keep going. This fabric I purchased and I did not realize that this was shipped from Italy. I knew it was a good fabric because of the price of it. It's a rayon, a rayon chalice similar to the fabrics I've been showing you that I've been sewing on the Linda tunic. Now I got all of these fabrics from Vogue Fabrics. And I told you that I didn't purchase any because you can get a much better deal there just purchasing it on yourself. They have a big sale this weekend. Rogi, I don't know if you're listening, but I'm giving you a really good pitch here. So, <laughs> cause I love Vogue Fabrics and they have every color in this. If you're in the fashion sewing club, go in there. There's a special discount just for you. So don't forget to use that code. So I wanted to find a print and I love black. So what do you think? Yes, I love this. And I just put it on the site. I think there's a little bit left. The Fashion Sewing Club members really liked this yesterday. But I got my piece first to make sure that I didn't get stuck with having only a tank top or something. So what do you do with this fabric? Any of these fabrics you get, any of the rayons, you really have to wash them and dry them before you cut them out because they can shrink. Rayon does have a tendency to shrink just a little bit. It is a natural fiber. Plus, if there's any issues with the dye or anything like that, you want to make sure you know about it way in advance, right? Okay, so this is the new one. Now I'm going to need your vote on something. Get this out of here. Can you see okay? <laughs> it's a mic. Someone said <laughs> your guys' comments were so funny last week on that. Should I make the entire Linda tunic out of this head to toe? Or should I use silk chiffon sleeves with this and do some embroidery that matches? I guess I'll have to take a vote on that, a poll. But anyways, here's my piece and it's going in the wash. All right, so before I go on to the fabric, I have to ask you guys, I know we always talk about, oh, I see somebody caught a big catfish. Connie, her seven-year-old granddaughter caught a big catfish. Awesome, <laughs> girl power. <laughs> Mary Smith wants to know, can I use double fabric for the whole Linda top? My fabric is too sheer for me, but double is fine. Yes, absolutely. In fact, two of the pieces I'm going to show you here, you probably would want a lining, including the one behind me that we're going to do a giveaway for because it's a little sheer. So two layers is totally fine. I'll give you some tips for that, though. If you're going to do two layers, you might want to do the lining a little bit shorter or if it's cute, you can make it a little bit longer so then it looks like it's part of the top and not just a lining. Just an idea for you. All right, so how many of you watch? I'm not a big TV watcher, but I do like America's Got Talent for many reasons, but it always seems to be they don't make too much fun of people and that used to bother me. Now it's more, they have really good talent on there. A couple of people that like, you know, they went on there because they're just ridiculous. But I have to tell you, I'm going to have to buy a whole case of Kleenex if they keep this up. So I don't think I shared this story with you. So if you did, just tune it out. <laughs> About three weeks ago, do you remember? If you, How many of you watch the show, by the way? America's Got Talent. Okay, so I usually record it because there's a gazillion commercials. And before it gets to the last one, I'm always ready for the bomb because it's going to be somebody who's awesome. But this year has been so different. And I have to tell you, I'm absolutely amazed by the talent. And these kids, they are, we have two golden buttons and the kids are like 11 and what's the other one? 10 maybe. So 
I'm asking you this because you'll get a kick out of this. For those of you that don't watch it, just kind of bear with me for a minute. Those of you that do, you have to picture this. So our fishing buddy, Jeff, and myself, we're sitting on the boat and we're watching the video of, did you see the young kid? He has autism. And I have friends that have kids with autism. So this was really cool that he was able to get on the stage. He had a you know, difficult time talking. He kind of wondered, what is he going to do? And then he sang and played the piano and everybody's mouth was like, oh. so Jeff and I, I would call us like, uh, I'll quit saying like, I would call us adults <laughs> and I'm crying. He's crying. And he said, it's better the second time. So we're watching it on YouTube the second time. So here comes Wynn and he looks at us and he says, are you guys crying? Like, yeah, yeah, you got to see this video. So then Wynn watches it. So people are walking by and all three of us are like, <laughs> because it was so touching. Okay. So I did not watch last night's yet. So don't give me it. Don't spoil it for me. Last night I caught up on last week's because I was with the brother gang and did you see the kid who's seven years old who had cancer? It was like the most tearjerker thing ever. And he learned to play the violin. Oh my gosh. Julie, I know you played the violin when we were growing up, but I don't ever recall it sounding like this. It was amazing. So if you guys want a good tearjerker, I know you can see it on YouTube now. So even if you miss the show, you'll see it. And don't ruin it for me. I didn't watch last night's yet. <laughs> So anyways, for those of you that just want to see, you know, some of the fun, it's it's pretty funny. It's pretty funny and it's a family. I would consider it more of a, a family show, kind of. I mean, not too bad. The commercials sometimes can be a little bit, sometimes I won't even go there, but sometimes you listen to the commercials and, and I think if I had children at home, how would I explain that one to them? <laughs> that could be a whole other show, right? <laughs> Yes, Susan, he was. He was bullied, and that's what made it so sad. I mean, how do you bully somebody with cancer? That's crazy. Well, hopefully people will learn a lesson on this one because this kid rocked it, and so did the last one. So, hi, Kira. I'm glad you caught it live. And, yes, so you guys all saw it. So there's your uh, teary moment for the day. Go back and watch it, and when you start crying, you can just know that I'm having a Kleenex with you because it is a tearjerker. So, Jeff, I don't know if you're fishing and you're watching this one, but I'm not watching any more of these with you because yesterday, <laughs> the one we watched last night was a huge tearjerker. All right, fabric. Let's go to the fabric, and then we're going to the show and tell. So, you ready? All right, let me just bring you over here. Make sure that you can see this. All right, don't get dizzy. Some of you asked if you can go around my studio, and I said yes, but... It depends on technology if it works or not. All right, you got it? So what do we have here? I found this in my stash and I'm so excited. So bring you, can you guys see okay? I guess I gotta come over here and sit without knocking you over. Okay, this. I already had this piece in a lighter color and I could not find the darker color, but I'm organizing, going through boxes. Susan, you'd be so proud of me. My boxes are getting very cleaned out. So check this out. Now, would this be good for summer? No, but not everybody is in the summer season right now. In fact, Michigan <laughs> needs to get on with the summer because it isn't coming yet. This is, I guess you'd call it a bronze or a brown. It's a silk velvet burnout. Now, I'm showing you these different fabrics because I know a lot of you go shopping in the summer, you go traveling, you stop at fabric stores. So I don't have a lot of all this. If it's sold, it's gone. But when you're looking for fabric, this is going to give you some ideas of what to find. All right. So we have this here. It's a little see-through. Again, this is one that you might want to put a, maybe a black, real sheer, like a silk chiffon. Um, I wouldn't go polyester under this because polyester is too warm. And this is silk, silk and velvet. So why ruin the whole hand of a natural fiber? So this is gorgeous. This would make a gorgeous Linda tunic. I don't know. I think I have nine yards of it. I just put it up on the site. I took a little bit out of it for myself, but I just love it. It's a great color too. So that one you'll see me sewing up. It's not very wide though. So always remember, whatever pattern you're sewing, check the width. This one is not very wide, meaning you need a little bit more. So by the way, some of you had ordered some maybe 40 inch wide fabric and ask me what's the best way to cut your outfit, especially the Linda tunic. 
So first of all, when I say to fold it in half, sometimes you can conserve fabric by folding in it maybe just to this far. Make sure you can see this, about this far. And on this first piece, put the body of your garment that needs to be cut on the fold. And that will leave fabric over here that's one layer. And you might be able to cut one sleeve here and then flip it over and cut the other sleeve below it. So just, I always try to conserve fabric. So if you're thinking and you're wondering, how am I gonna do this? Shoot me an email. Or in the Fashion Sewing Club, for those that you were there yesterday, we were on a full hour, but we had a gazillion questions. So I'm planning a few more extras for this month for Fashion Sewing Club. And we're, the Linda Tunic Sew Along is starting in just a couple weeks, but in the Fashion Sewing Club, it's starting sooner because we're, we've already started. So that's just kind of a perk on there. And you can always bring your questions there too. So here, check this out. Now, I'm not a big polyester fan, not at all, but I do have a couple polyester tops. And the reason being is because they don't wrinkle when you travel. And if I make the top loose enough, it's okay. It's not like I'm gonna sit there and sweat to death. Well, ask me about it later. I do have a couple tops I don't like, but this one is a polyester. It's sheer, I don't know if you can see me, but it's sheer. You could make a top without lighting it though. I think you wouldn't see through it, but I don't know. You might wanna have just a camisole underneath. A lot of my tops, if you look back at season, ooh, let's think. All right, one of you girls with the handy dandy notes. What season was it when I made the camisole top with the adjustable straps? It was a yellow tank top. I used the ruched tee and pattern hacked it. So that would be very cute under here. Not yellow necessarily, but black. So this, I found, oh my gosh, maybe 10 yards of this. I have no idea what I was going to do with it. I've already taken out a little bit because I think I'm going to make a Linda tunic out of this. It's a great color. Now, the computer screens always show weird colors. So what color is this really? <laughs> it's not blue. It's not green. It's like a tealy greenish bluish. I don't know what, uh, let's see. Does it look like the ocean? No, it's darker than the ocean. But I would say something in that realm, in the blue and green, maybe moss. No, moss is too green. I don't know what to tell you, but it's gorgeous. So I hold it up, does it match my eyes? Well, then that's what color it is. So I saved a little bit for myself. I put the rest up on the website. I already put all these up at a pretty good price. So there, since there's not a discount right now, except for the fashion guys, uh, don't worry, it, they're not very expensive. All right, this piece, for those that you want flowers. Now this one, I just put on the site and I'm curious because it's really soft on the inside, but the salvages are a little bit, a little bit stiffer. And I don't know why, if it's just the makeup of the fabric. Again, it's a polyester, but it has a really vibrant color. So what I purchased this for was making a circle skirt to wear to the pool. Yeah, like a bathing suit cover up. This would make a great bathing suit cover up out of the Linda tunic, leave the sleeves off and make it more of a dress. Very cute. Or do a short sleeve. Love this. This is pretty wide too. And the price, it's not very expensive. I got just enough to make my skirt. So a circle skirt, if you don't know how to make one, I think I have three YouTube videos on that. I could leave a link for you if you desire. They're very easy. All right, let me just double check that you guys can hear okay. I cannot see all your comments from way over there. Everyone says it looks like turquoise. All right, Jenny, go back to work. Great to see you. <laughs> all right, how about this one? This one I purchased for, oh gosh, I can't even remember what I was making. It was something for It's So Easy. And then I didn't need it because it was too shiny to show on TV. So this is a little bit sheer. This is also a polyester. I know the, the bad word that I never use, but they drape so beautifully and they don't wrinkle. But if you get really hot, polyester is not your friend. But if you look at a lot of the stores, a lot of times that's all you can find. So if you don't want to spend the money on silk, silk chiffon, anything of that order, suede silk, sounds like um, forest gum, <laughs> bubble gum shrimp, <laughs> fried shrimp. I, I could go through all the silks. I love them all. 
I'm glad Wynn's not here. He'd be cracking up because that's always our big thing. It's his favorite movie, by the way. I think I've watched it 655 times, literally. <laughs> All right, so this has a little sheer. This would be gorgeous for if you have a wedding to go to or it doesn't have to be dressy, but if you're going to a nice dinner, it would look great with black pants. It would it would probably look fine with, I'm look, holding it up with my black jeans. It would be fine. It's a little dressier though, but you know, it depends what jewelry you wear, how you dress it up or dress it down. This one could be either. But for those of you that maybe have something to go to, you're sewing the Linda tunic or you have a really great top that you want to make, this would also make, okay, we got it. I should have a whole list of what episodes. The episode where I made the kimono out of, I draped it so you don't need a pattern. I think I used my Evelyn as a base though. And, or the circle sweater, any of those would look good in this as well. But the kimono would be kind of cool because you just put trim down the edge and you're good to go. So again, it's a little sheer. So in the bust area, you'd probably want to wear a tank, but every place else you'd be fine. All right, what else do I have over here? I think that was it. I showed you the knit. Hmm, I'll find it. Now let's talk about the pieces that I'm giving away and why on earth would I give it away? Well, because I know somebody would love it more than I would. So this is what I have. Let me move my mic back over. <laughs> you guys say, thanks, Amy. Oh, Linda says she has that fabric in black. <laughs> oh, that's a great idea, by the way. All right. Let me hide your comments. You can see you here. Okay, this. So I already made something out of this for a customer years ago, and it was gorgeous. It was a blouse, and I made a camisole underneath out of this fabric. And this is what I have left. Because when I would buy for custom clothing, I would always buy extra in case there was a mistake. And then I would use the piece for myself or give it away or whatever. So this, these are both polyesters as well. Look at how beautiful this is. I love it. I know I should keep it for myself, but I'm not, I'm parting, I'm parting. I'm, I'm having, I don't know. I got to get rid of some of this fabric. So there's only, I think a yard, hold on. Keep yourselves company for me. I got to get my yard stick. By the way, speaking of keeping yourselves company, you guys were awesome last week. When the software went crazy and you're staring at a blue screen, there was over a hundred of you sitting there staring at the blue screen, having a chat amongst yourselves, waiting for me to get back on. You know what? You guys are awesome. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Okay, so this is how much fabric we have. And there's there's one little at the end. This is in the selvage. There's a little hole in the end, but it doesn't affect your fabric. It's just in the selvage. So this is how much fabric. Yes, you can enter the contest every day. By the way, Judy Romano, you won last week the drawing for the It's So Easy. I have to tell you, when I printed off your name, it said you shared that with 100 people. I think it might have been 102. That's amazing. You do get extra points for everybody you share it with. You know that? And the software, once you win, tells me how many you shared it with. Now, there have been people who haven't shared it with anyone that still won. It's still a random drawing. But I have to say, you did your work on that one. <laughs> okay, so it looks like there's just two yards. It's about, oh, it looks like it's about 60 inches wide. So that's enough to make a Linda tunic. Okay, so what the heck do you need this piece for? Well, this I used for lining. Now, you really can't see through it. But if you wanted to line just the top, so you were asking earlier about fabrics. Do you line the whole thing? Uh, the Linda tunic, if it's see-through, you could just cut two fronts and treat like from here down. You already have two layers in the yoke if you want it. You don't have to have that though. I'll show you a shear here where I did not do that. But if you just wanted from here down to do two layers and everything else one layer, you're totally fine with that. So just treat it like one layer. There you go. So this color, this is just a polyester. You could use this for lining. That's usually what I would use it for. So you could put this underneath. You could use this as the sleeves. You could, 
that when I do the show and tell here in just a minute, who was it? I can't remember if it was Dee Dee or Deborah. Oh, I'll have to look. That did this amazing shirt, then Linda Tunic, and then added the bell at the bottom of the sleeve. Super cute. You'll correct me, whoever. I'll figure out who it was in just a second. There were so many to look at. So anyways, both of these pieces I'm giving away. The drawing is already up. I left a link in the Angela Wolf Patterns Facebook group, and I will leave a link on Facebook tomorrow, and I'm leaving a link on Instagram later today. So how do you enter? You have to enter the contest here. I'll show you what it looks like. All right, you ready? Bring you up here. Sleeves and embroidery, yes. What's that orange jacket in the background too? Oh, Denise. Oh, that's my Christy jacket that's coming out this fall. Finally, after all these years. <laughs> Darlene Deck did that. Thank you, Susan. Yes, Darlene Deck, your top was awesome, which I'm going to show off here in just a second. All right, so here is, let me bring up the contest. So when you go to enter the contest, you come to, you'll come to this page here. I'm giving you a couple of extra requests this time to enter. So you're going to fill in the form below. That You have to fill in the form below or I don't even know you entered. All right. After that, if you follow the other things, if you win, I double check that you did the other things or you get extra entries. So this is how it works. Fill in the entry below. I have a thing here. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's free. All right. But then when I do premieres, you'll be notified. You click on that link right there where my mouse is. It will take you to my YouTube channel and just click subscribe. And if you want extra entries, now these are optional, but I will take your name and put it, add it in here. So tomorrow when I add it to my Facebook page, if you make a comment or if you share it with your friend, I will make sure you get credit for that. And then also, I know a lot of you are on Instagram. When you share your photos, I usually share them. So on here, when you see the contest, all you have to do is leave a comment, share it with a friend, and you get an extra credit. You scroll down through here, you enter your name, your email address. I don't sell these, it's just for the contest. And I ask you a couple of fun questions and you click submit. And then that means that you are in. All right, pretty simple. So if you have any problems signing up, just let me know. So speaking of Instagram, those of you on Instagram that are making the Linda Tunic, I'm gonna show you guys here in the Facebook group. It's unbelievable these tops you guys are whipping out. I'm so excited to see this and you are inspiring everyone of every shape and size. It's amazing. So if you're on Instagram and you share it, make sure you tag me at Angela of Fashion. That's my Instagram handle. And uh, I will, if you do that and you give me permission, I'll share it on my Insta story so then everyone can see how cool your top is. All right, so let's go. I'm going to start here and just scroll through and show you some of these tops. You, ready? you guys ready? <laughs> Showing off your stuff. All right, here we go. Susan. Check this out. She made this top. This is without sleeves. A few of you asked, what's it going to look like without sleeves? Well, let me just say, this is super cute. I love this fabric. Love it. Great job on the neckline. <laughs> she says, I can't wait for the sew along. So by the way, in case you guys were wondering, I posted the sew along in the newsletter. If you didn't get the newsletter this week, I'll, I left it somewhere. Just let me know or sign up for it and I can give you a copy of it. But I gave the schedule of the official sew along. Now, by the way, all the videos are up on YouTube and in the Fashion Sewing Club. Those were all the shorter excerpts from It's So Easy. The sew along, which the reason I put up that first is give those of you that wanna jump in and go for it, go for it. And those of you that need a little bit more handholding or you just wanna see what happens, it gives you some time to get the fabric, and then I'm going to give more details than in the short period that I have on It's So Easy. Remember, It's So Easy, they only allow me a certain amount of time. So if it looks like I just sewed an entire collar in four minutes, that's all I get. <laughs> so this time, it's going to be a com combination of live shows and things like that that I can help walk you through it. For those of you that really get stuck or those of you that are already been sewing it that say, this part really gets me. How do you do this? And hopefully I can help. Fashion Sewing Club people, of course, are going to get a little bit more. So we are going to be sewing a lot. And look what she did to the back. Instead of doing gathering, she did a pleat. Very cute. All right, what else do we have in here? There were a lot of good-looking outfits here. So this is Karen Johnson's. 
Love that fabric. Oh my gosh. That, do you, by the way, if you guys don't know this yet, floral is so big for spring and fall. And you, your colors on there, Karen, are spot on. I love it. That would look great with a pair of jeans. All right, let's see. I think there's a few more. Here was one. Oh, another one. Karen, you're whipping these things out. <laughs> Very cute. I love your top stitching on that too. I can see that. Looks great. Everybody's giving you the heart. <laughs> Joyce says, I'm seeing a pattern here. You obviously like sheer fabric. Well, actually, I like both, Joyce. I like this fabric, which is this, the rayon. I love that. I love the silk. Suede silk, I love that. But the sheer for summer is just fun to wear and it just looks great with jeans and you throw on a tank top with it. Then if you get hot, you can take the top off. <laughs> That's kind of like where I'm thinking with that. Uh, Janet, is this the one time to enter contest? No, you can enter every day. Some of you said you love doing that. Every contest is different. I, sometimes I do every day, sometimes not. I left it open for every day. For those of you that really want this blue fabric, you can enter every day. Just once a day, though. Trust me, the contest is smarter than we are. And if it, it says you've already entered for the day, it's not going to let you enter again. So <laughs> Denise, easily distracted by my orange jacket. Squirrel? <laughs> Squirrel's in the attic? <laughs> oh, Christina wants a jacket pattern from me so bad. Well, you're going to be pretty excited when you see what's coming out. Uh, do I ship overseas? Karina, yes, I do. Unfortunately, the shipping is so expensive. So uh, try... I try to box it up or bag it up in as light of a way as possible. But I've sent quite a few overseas orders the last couple of weeks, even with the Linda tunic um, and a piece of fabric. And I think shipping was always, gosh, 15, 20 bucks. So just if you go overseas, just make sure that you get everything you want because it's expensive. <laughs> Cynthia, taking part of this group makes your day. Well, you make ours too. Clovis, if you've already subscribed to your channel, you're in. And by the way, Clovis, you sent me an email a couple days ago about what size to cut, and I can't find it anywhere. So would you email me again? <laughs> because I can't find it. I must have accidentally deleted it. Do you guys ever, on your phone, if the phone is on and I put it in my pocket or put it in my purse, sometimes things disappear or something else shows up on my home screen. I don't know what it's all about, but it drives me crazy. So I have a feeling that my purse deleted your email because I can't find it. So don't take it personally. Just email me again. Uh, Pam, do you have a number? A number for the fabric? I've already posted it all. The names for it. I could give you names if you tell me which one you'd like. <laughs> Diane, is that the orange jacket you promised so long ago? It is, Diane, it is. <laughs> I wanted to wait till I had grading for the larger sizes, and I do now. So, uh, <laughs> Janet, I assume contest is U.S. only. Janet, the contest is everywhere. It's just if you live overseas, you have to pay for shipping. That's the bummer. I know. You do need to move here. By the way, I do have a lot of people that live overseas that have friends in the United States that they visit once a year. And I know I send very large packages to their friend that they come to visit. So keep that in mind. Oh, <laughs> you guys are hilarious. All right. Love your top, Susan. And Julie, if you're on here, you can get rid of that little troll that we're seeing. You got to love that. Girls? <laughs> All right. Beautiful top, Susan. Jana wants to know, how did you finish the armhole since it's sleeveless? So a couple of questions for you, Susan, that people are going to be asking you. Did you have to raise... The side seam? Did you have to take in the side seam a little bit so the armhole wasn't too low? And did you finish it just with bias tape? That's what I would guess you did, but I don't know. You might have had something different. Oh, Georgiana said she doesn't get it so easy anymore. So, uh, Georgiana, good news. You can watch all of my episodes on YouTube. If you're in the Fashion Sewing Club, they're in there. You can watch the full episodes on It's So Easy TV YouTube channel and their website. And if you get Amazon live streaming, it's on there. Oh my goodness, it's everywhere, which is awesome. All right, Susan said she'd be happy to share, message her. <laughs> oh, Peg, the Linda is so nice to cover in perfect shapes. We, real, we realistically have. Peg, you're beautiful, by the way. 
And uh, I wouldn't worry about that. But you know what? I love the top. If you want to know what I have been wearing this, this is the one I told my sister I was going to give this to her. And guess what? I haven't yet because I've worn it, Julie. I have to admit three times. I love it. So here's one where the yoke, I didn't double up because it's sheer. So I just left it one layer. Oh, sorry. Hope you guys, I just like knocked your ears out with my bracelet. Anyways, I think we're going to have a lot of fun with this through the summer. I'm going to definitely say yes on that. <laughs> Melody loves everyone's Linda. Hey, Gail, it's okay that you're late. Oh, Pam, hashtag, hashtag. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Angela Wolf, hashtag is Angela Wolf. So if you tag me on social media, there you go. Either do hashtag Angela Wolf. I always look that one up. I also look up Angela Wolf patterns, but Angela Wolf is just easier. And also, if you're on Instagram, this is how you tag me. There you go. Like that. All right. All right. Let's keep rolling. Birdie, finally quit getting errors while trying to view. Oh, Birdie, I hope you're not getting errors. By the way, you guys, you can. <laughs> Don't take it personally. <laughs> I love that peg. I hope nobody took it personally, by the way. Uh, oh, me or you? <laughs> I'm just kidding. You know, it's funny that you said that, though, because when I came out with the top, what you said is totally correct. It's different than the knits. It's not fitted. It fits everyone, every shape. That's why I was so particular about sizing it up to 36W and all the way down to a zero. I have people over that and under that. But in the meantime, at least that's a pretty broad range. And it's about a four inch ease. So it's nice and loose. Let's just say I love it. And I have talked to a few people that they're just, it's their go-to now. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Uh, Peg, we got to find you a cotton fabric though. Yeah. Because I think a, a lightweight cotton would look fabulous in that. And then you would love it for flying. All right. Let's see. What else do we have on here? Let me bring this up. I'm going to make myself small. Here's Melody. So Melody, I have to ask you about this fabric. This is so cute. First thing I thought of is the Evelyn, a dress and jacket. So Jackie O. So I have to ask you, what fabric is this? Is it a cotton? Is it, uh, I don't think you said, and I didn't go through the comments. I just love it though. Let me see if you're on here. <laughs> Melody, what are you doing? <laughs> I see you on here. Hi, Patricia. Great to see you. Good evening to you. Uh, love uh, you guys are all loving the orange top in the back. I gotta <laughs> okay. I don't know why it's freezing, but what I want to say about that, Marianne, and anyone who's having a problem, I'm not freezing on my end for a change. So if you want to watch this later, be sure to share it to your page and you can go back and watch it later. All right, so don't forget about that. Good question. My thought to Angie. I'm not sure what question you have, so bring it up again. Here's Susan, and Susan's talking about her top. She did quite a few things, and she's passing it all along. Self-bias is the first one. Yes. Facing on the sleeve, that'd be a good one, too. Did you take in the sleeves? She did. She took off the armhole, underarm, and a few other changes, so she'll fill us in on that. <laughs> Melody says the shirt really needs to make it her way. Darlene, I want that fabric. We all do. Okay, Debbie has her Linda almost cut out. Awesome. Oh, no, you have the flu, Lynn. Not good. Julie, yes, Julie, we need your help. Big time. Somebody text my sister. <laughs> I can't do it while I'm live, but it will be taken care of immediately after, if you all know what I'm talking about. Uh, Rayon Batik. I'm looking, Melody, what is it? What is it? Uh, she said she bought it in Lakeland about four years ago. Ah, oh, so we can't purchase it. <laughs> oh, thanks, Angie. Angie says it was regarding Linda's ad adaptation. So, I mean, Susan's adaptation. All right. So the fabric is gorgeous. Here's another one. This is great. So Sherry, first of all, Many of us were keeping you in our thoughts and prayers. She got in a terrible accident. You look fabulous. 
and she's finally sewing again. And the ruche tee looks amazing on you. It's a great color. I love that picture in the background, by the way. That is, it's beautiful. <laughs> but I love the fabric. The top looks great. You did the twisted neckline. We are so happy that you're back with us because I know that you've had a little bit of a hard time. So welcome back. And you sure came back with a, a lot of thumbs up. 200 and some odd, by the way. That's a lot of thumbs up. Everybody's loving what you have. So there's the contest link in the group. Okay, Danie. Danie had to brag, <laughs> which I'll let you do that in there just a little bit because it was pretty cool. What did you purchase? I saw this and I just skimmed past it. She went to her brother dealer and she bought a new machine. Oh, goodness. She got the NQ575 and the wide table with it. You're going to love it. That's a great machine. So have fun. We can't wait to see what you're sewing on it. And make sure that if you post something on social media that you use hashtag brother sews, because I know they'd love to see it too. Okay, here's some more of Melody's fabric. You, oh, you are making the Kate skirt out of it. Oh, that's going to be so cute. All right, here we go. Kay. Kay made. This is so cute. Okay, so those of you who don't know Kay, Kay's adorable. She's been in the group forever, and I met her in person in Texas, and she's just as cute in person and adorable as she is in the picture. But she always does this camp, and she made all of their headbands out of dyed fabric, and then she made the tank. That's out of, I think it's out of my Rouge Tea or my Rachel. I don't remember. They're both the same. Pretty close. The Rouge Tea's a tank, but that is so cute, and thank you for sharing. So inspiring to see all those kids. Okay, here we go. Janet Payne made another of these tops if you missed her first one i think i'll still get to it i don't know how many pictures are in here but this fabric looks gorgeous and i these are your colors too by the way janet so i know you're gonna look fabulous in this although i do like your dress form too she made the sleeves a little shorter super cute very very fun okay let's see darlene made another one i love this fabric i love the short sleeve version i never even thought of doing that and what a great idea. It's summer for some of us, but very cute. So the neckline's a little different. Somebody asked me, what about the neckline? Uh, does it cross over in the front? No, it meets up next to each other, which I'll show you in just a second. So, oh, Carrie says that her uh, one of her students just bought that machine. Oh, I'll bet you she loves it, Carrie. You have a good uh, dealer over in Chicago too, a brother dealer. Marion says she loves the fabric. Denise is saying hi to you, Carrie. Okay, Clovis, happy belated birthday. I think there were a few other birthdays I missed this week, but happy belated birthday to Clovis. And look at this cute cake that somebody gave her. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So very cute. I couldn't, I wouldn't be able to eat that. I'd have to freeze it or something. But how cute. It's got the measuring tape. It's got the scissors. Oh my goodness gracious. So adorable. I love it. All right, here's Melody's workroom. And Melody, you had a ton of questions on these weights. So the weights over here, I can see those are just washers. These, I have these, and I purchased them from Joe. So if you guys go to one of the shows, Joe has these in gold and a few other colors. Somehow, mine haven't made it up from being packed. So I have to find mine. Right now, I use these weights, these washers. Barbara Schiller had given me that as a gift, and I just love it. All right, here's her top a little bit closer. Okay, super cute. She did a great job on the neckline. She has all of the headbands. Adorable. All right, I think there are just a couple more. So this was a top that I asked Lynn to post in here. Uh, we usually only post Angela Wolf patterns, but I asked her to post it. And this is from Neiman Marcus. I just wanted you to show you this fabric. It's a very similar style top. A little bit different it has the bell on the sleeve and that's what she was pointing out that that's kind of cute you cut the sleeve off about here and add a bell fabric's very crazy that's for sure so in case you're wondering why that's in there just to give you some inspo all right and you see oh judy yes so i wanted to announce this and judy already beat me to it so i always have surprises when you guys order whenever i have i mean this was like the craziest ordering session ever i had my friends from brother were helping me pack we were well i packed i signed and then we had shipping labels but it had to be a team because 
I'm just grateful for all these orders, but I had no idea. So this was about a seven day process getting everything out. I found one pattern behind my table, which I emailed her and sent it. Everybody else got theirs. Hopefully there aren't too many mistakes. I'm sure I forgot a few things, but Judy was the first one to order. I didn't even tell you guys it was on my website and she had ordered. So of course I went back to give her her discount because she didn't realize I was giving her one. And I gave her the thread cutter, the Angelo of thread cutter as a gift because she was first. So I also, because there were so many, so for every hundred orders, which there were quite a few hundreds, I took random numbers and drew names. So some of you got thread cutters in the mail, and that means you were randomly chosen as a winner. So if you got a thread cutter, you're like, I didn't order this. <laughs> it's just because it's such a cool thing. It's good. You're going to need it when you're cutting anyways. And it's my Angela signature one. So quite a few of you got those in the mail. Now you know why. It was random, except for Judy, because she was the first order. Thanks, Judy. <laughs> I don't even know how you knew it was on the website. <laughs> That's you were just, you were on it. Okay, Linda, here's a very cute top from Linda. So the top and the skirt. I know that's the Kate skirt. I'm guessing that's the ruched tee without ruching. But what I love here is that fabric for the skirt is so cute. Let me make it just a little bit bigger if I can. Nope, it won't go bigger. Maybe this. Maybe? No. She has this trim. If you're in the group, you got to go look at the trim on her on this. It's really cute. What did she say she used? One is linen silk blend and hmm, I don't know what sometimes, oh, French lace around the hem. That's what she used. Very, very, very cute. I know Melody says she loves the blue and yellow together. I agree. Hi, Karen. Welcome for the first time. We're so happy to have you. All right. Lewis wants to know, did you ever design the circle jacket pattern that you showed once with a peep sleeve on It's So Easy? I got lost on how to cut that collar. Oh, you know what, Lewis? Louise, I'm sorry. Is it Lewis or Louise? Make sure I get that right. I, I did not because I figured the pattern or the It's So Easy would be good and be fine for that. But I always forget, and I'm so glad you mentioned it because I always forget that those episodes are very short and I can't show you every step. So I will put that on a note and I will work on that. I'll add it to the list. Short list though, not long. <laughs> Amy, that skirt is adorable. So Amy, I'm waiting to see your uh, Linda tunic into a dress. You are, you, everybody's calling you the dress lady because you look so cute in those dresses and you post these and you do such a good job on them. I know that pattern hack is coming. <laughs> Pam says uh, her friend won those pattern weights in Puyallup. Had to figure out how to get them home without going over the limit. <laughs> okay, so how did that happen, Pam? Because those things are heavy. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let me see if there's any more. Otherwise, I'm going to... <laughs> this is cute. All the pattern pieces cut out. Oh, here we go. Esther, this is a great fabric. Again, this is a little sheer. We were talking about sheer. Very, very, very cute. And look at how good the neckline and the yoke looks on there. You did a great job. Great job. And I love that fabric. Great job on the sleeve. I could definitely see that being worn a lot. Nice top stitching too, by the way. Looks really nice. Okay. Oh, what was, you guys had some pretty funnies for me this week, by the way. I don't remember which one of you it was, but somebody said <laughs> that they ordered something off my website. I'll think of who it is probably as soon as I hang up. If you're on here, just say, <laughs> just give me a smiley face to let me know it was you. They ordered something from the website and her husband came home and said, who's Angela Wolf? <laughs> I think that's what shows up on the credit card. And she told him it was a new grocery store in town. <laughs> I guess I'm going to have to start putting in, what's that disclosure you guys said? I think it's, that's what I was looking for here in the group. Somebody posted a photo of it. I'll bring it up here in a second. It's a disclaimer. Here we are. It was you, Darlene. This is the fabric she purchased. I think 
I think. Hold on a second. Hold on. Keep yourself company for a minute. I think I have more. All right. This is the fabric. I showed it a couple weeks ago, and I think I have just maybe two yards left. So I put it back on the website. I might have three. It looks like three yards left. Isn't it cute? Well, you look great in that. And look what she did to the sleeve. I'll make myself small. She did a bell sleeve. It looks like lace. Very, very, very cute. Very cute. Here's another one. Charlene's getting ready to sew. Nice job tracing the patterns. Very cute. And wait, there was one more. Oh, Melody, that's cute. That's my color. Oh, did you hand dye that or did you purchase it that way? I don't think I asked you that in the questions. Okay, let me get to this one. Here you go. Now you can see, look at that sleeve. Isn't that adorable? So it's a lace. That's This is the fabric for the body of the garment, and there's lace. That's also a great way to pattern hack the outfit if you don't have enough fabric. Brilliant. Great job on the neckline. It's just super cute. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Kira, this was adorable. Uh, do you need an alibi in your package in the form of congratulations on winning this item? I think I'm going to have to add that because <laughs> you guys, uh, uh, what was it? Somebody did that recently that they wanted an alibi. Janice, I think one time I had to do it for you too and say it was um, a birthday present for your husband so he wouldn't open it. <laughs> All right. And if you guys remember, we were talking to Bonnie a little while ago. She was working on this t-shirt quilt. I know it's not an Angela Wolf pattern, but I asked her to please post it here because we were chatting about it and I really wanted to see what it looked like. I have a lot of fishing shirts. Look at how cute this is. All right, so that's on my bucket list for maybe 30 years from now. I'll keep collecting. And I think here was one more of Susan's. I have this fabric or something that looks just like it. So I'm going to have to maybe pull that one out of the stash. I love that. Oh, here we go. Donna. Okay, Donna, this picture looks like you went and took a professional picture. This is gorgeous. That color is awesome on you. And this is the Delilah, which is what I'm wearing. But I just love that photo. I just, it looks great. And your necklace matches. <laughs> I love it when I go in, like, this was a showstopper. I absolutely love it. Okay, Janet is showing off her sewing room. It's back in order. Here we go. It looks good. Looks really good. You've got a lot of room up there and you're very organized. Okay, so speaking of that, I don't think, oh yeah, we've got Val's jeans, which look amazing. And <laughs> Susan, your cats. So who needs pattern weights when you've got cats, right? Just don't use the rotary color. Exactly. Oh, hey, Peg, I just saw that. You don't always need cotton. Some of the lightweight knits are great. Cotton just feels good on those hot August days. You're so right. So, okay, so I'll get cotton out of my head. Not totally, but I always keep you in my mind when I'm shopping, if I find a good one. <laughs> Carolyn says, my husband calls Angela his girlfriend when I watch it so easy. <laughs> That's so funny. And Janice, yes, that was you. <laughs> That was you. I sent a, if you guys need an alibi on your package, you just let me know. <laughs> oh gosh, you guys are hilarious. So uh, by the way, speaking of photos, if you didn't get the newsletter last week, I'm going to start doing random giveaways. I told you that was going to start in June. It's June. So after the fabric giveaway next week, post a photo. It could be on Instagram. It could be in the Facebook group, wherever. Make sure I see it. I already have a list of names of everybody who's done that of how you watch Behind the Scenes Live. Or it's so easy, but Behind the Scenes Live is specific to this contest. So the photos have been hilarious. If you guys are watching while you're sewing, while you're at the pool, whatever, take a photo. Let me know that it's there. Tag me or whatever so I can see it. And I'm going to start doing random giveaways for people this 
they're so fun. So it, that doesn't mean it has to be a great photo, just a photo. All right, you guys. So let's see. I think we are rolling. I'm going to check, see if you guys have any questions. We're just rolling on the one hour dot line. And uh, oh, Melody said, you got that pink fabric at Joanne's? I do not recall seeing that there. Very cute. Clovis, Clovis, your husband is awesome. Do you guys remember when we called, Clovis, you remember when we called you last year, my husband and I, when I asked you guys to leave a phone number? We're going to start doing that again because I have an extra phone now. So where we can call you and say, hi, it's so fun hearing everybody's voice. Not today because I had so much to share, but it's so fun to hear what you're working on and hear your voice. But wasn't it your husband that answered that was going to hang up? I'm pretty sure it was. Yes, I I'm pretty sure. And then when I met you guys in Illinois, he is the nicest guy ever. <laughs> He's just protecting you. He probably thought I was a telemarketer, right? <laughs> Definitely. Yes, Karina, we have something for the Wolfpack this week. How did I forget? It's on my big notes. Karina has designed a really cool logo. I let her use my logo because you guys can't sell this, all right? It's just for the Wolfpack. She's going to post it in the group. She has, let me see if I can find the design here. Bring it up. Hold on just a minute. Cause it's on, I think it's in an email. You guys have to see this. So you can embroider it on a towel, on a shirt, whatever. She said, you know what? I really want something. Are you going to design it? And I said, no, you do it. <laughs> and she did. And it didn't take long. All right, Karina, where is it? I can't remember if you emailed it to me or if it's in my message. Hold on, I'll find it because it's very cool. She, and you guys can use this, you just can't sell it, all right? It's only for the Wolfpack. Karina, where is it? Hmm, not in that messages. And I don't think you can share a photo when we're live. So let me just check. I had this brought up so I could find it. Oh, you guys are gonna love this. And then and then I'm out of here. So those of you that have to go, don't worry, I will uh, post this in a second. But uh, let's see. So many messages in here. Goodness. From people I've never met in my life, nor probably will ever met. Oh, you just sent. Oh, awesome. You already have it finished. Did you do this with the scan and cut? That does not look like embroidery. All right, Karina, I got to bring this up. All right. I hope you're good with that. I'm assuming you are because you designed it. So this is what she's sharing with you guys that you guys can embroider. She has it in, She has it digitized in every format. So whatever machine you have, we're going to put the files in the Angelo of Patterns group. That's a free group. That's the one that many of you are already in. Is this cute or what? Yes, so you can borrow this or borrow it. You can use it. And you guys all have to give Karina the major love on this one because this is so cool. All right, I think there was another photo here too. Hold on. See if I could bring up the other photo. How ironic. I just got the photo in there. I didn't even see these. Here we go. Here's the other photo. This is a close up. So proud member of the Wolf Pack. You got two sewing machines and I gave her permission to use my logo. That is so cool. She also has the embroidery files, but you have to tell us. Did I'm going to. This is scan and cut. Oh, my goodness. This is awesome. So I have to tell you, Karina, that. My friends at Brother were here and I showed them this. And they're like, that's really cool. Now, I had no idea you're doing the scan and cut too. That's really cool. So you are awesome. This is so cool. We're going to share this in the group. You can thank her for that. I think we should have a, we should do a GoFundMe. Everyone give 50 cents. And then by the time we're done, we'll have enough to ship anything you want over to your country. <laughs> I really think so. That is so cool. Karina, that is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Great job on the logo. Love it. Oh my gosh. People are absolutely. So this was the exciting news from last week, but I couldn't really tell you when we had the whole group here. So it's going in the group. If you guys want to use it, she's allowing any of you to. How do you join the Wolf Pack? <laughs> well, Marla, you're on here, so you really are the Wolf Pack. Your last name is Wolf, too, or you got a wolf in there. Uh, yes, it, you go to Angela Wolf Patterns, and let's. the group looks like it's, let's see. It's Angela Wolf Patterns. I'll find the link here. Hold on a second.
just go to Angela Wolf Patterns group and you'll see it. It's it's free to enter. The Fashion Sewing Club is the one that's not free. So just so you know. Kat, Karina, you are getting love all over the place. Yes, Arnell, you can get it. It's going to be in the group. So Karina, I'm going to give you permission. I have all the files to upload. So I'm going to double check that I have them all right. And we're going to post them in the group. Feel free to post them if you want to beat me to it. And then I'm going to put them in a separate section that it's saved there. This is very cool. So this is just another fun thing that you guys have created. You make my day when you do this, by the way. Absolutely. So I'm bring this. I'm going to save this photo. <laughs> Everybody's saying, love it, love it. Uh, did I copyright or trademark? Yes, I have a trademark on my logo, Tawanda. And if you have a logo for anything you do, I highly recommend you do that. So yes, my logo is trademarked. So don't be using it without my permission, <laughs> ever. And I gave her permission because you guys can all wear that. That's fine. We're not selling it. You're not selling it. I'm not selling it. I could sell it because it's mine, but you get the idea. <laughs> Deborah's saying, I want this. How creative. I know. This is so fun. So even like the one Janet did. I just saw Janet up post up there. This was one from a little while ago. Remember this? Leader of the wolf pack. I have wins too. I never, I kept using wins, by the way. There's wins. <laughs> oh, hey guys, one more thing. You know what else I found on here? I accidentally cut two yards of this fabric, two yards too many. So this fabric I showed you a couple weeks ago, I took it off the website because it was gone, but then I accidentally cut two yards too many. So this is the black shimmer. So that's going back up just two yards of it. Forgot to tell you, that was one extra. All right, you guys, if you guys don't have any questions for me, I'm going to let you go. Here is, hold on a second. Let me bring this up. This is the giveaway. Oops, not that one, this one. Let's see, here we go. There goes the technology glitch. Ugh, I don't know what it's doing, but that's the giveaway. <laughs> the fabric. This one behind me, since the camera's not working right. Here we go. Now is it working? There you go. That is the giveaway. So you can enter starting now. I will do a drawing next Wednesday. If you guys have any questions, let me know. And yes, I will see you tomorrow on the Fashion Sewing Club. I don't know what time yet. I'm waiting to hear back from Wynn. So all of you in the Fashion Sewing Club, watch your email because we had so many questions yesterday. I couldn't get through them all. And they were good questions. And I wanted to make sure I was set up with the sewing machine. So guess what, though? When I clicked off, it deleted all the comments, the questions that we didn't answer. So as soon as I have a link put back up, you guys go back in and ask your questions that I missed. And I also have another live show for next week. So either one you can join will be fine. <laughs> Don't give away to Wanda. <laughs> I love that. Patterns on sale. <laughs> Patterns on sale. Uh, yeah, patterns are on sale. There was a discount in the newsletter this week. You can still get the Linda tunic until the end of the month. Capital L-I-N-D-A 20. And if you're in the Fashion Sewing Club, there's a whole pile of discounts in there. Don't forget about those. And I think that was it for this week. Get it while you can. <laughs> All right, you guys. Uh, let's see. Want to get it done before so fun at Rocky Mountain sewing back. Oh, Pam, get that done. I need, I'm going to send them a pattern. Those girls are going to be making one. So I can't wait to see what they come up with too. Melody says, I have them in the notebook. Kira, great to see you. Bye. See you guys. So I will see all of you fashion sewing clubs tomorrow. And if you have any questions, leave a comment. If you're on YouTube, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. And by the way, I look forward to seeing you next week, but I'll be popping in because I've got a lot to share this week. I'm working on my new sew along for It's So Easy. We are taping in two weeks and I can give you a hint. Trench coat. That's all I'm going to say. All right. Bye, you guys. Have a great day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.